So what we have right here is called your high temperature limit switch or your high temperature limit safety. It protects the furnace from overheating and will open to cut off the gas essentially to prevent the house from being burnt down. This safety will monitor the circuit for protection 24-7. It runs, it has power to it all the time and at any moment opens it will energize the inducer here and the blower motor down there. Let's say you have a furnace where the homeowner doesn't change the filters or the blower wheels plugged up with you know little pieces of plastic and hair because they don't believe in using a filter they didn't take the filter out of the plastic bag they didn't remove the little paper coverings that for marketing on the filters it'll furnace will run it will work it'll get hot and if we can Let's see if I can zoom in on that again. If you see up at the top there how it has that L170-20F. When the heat exchanger hits the maximum temperature the furnace is designed for, this one being 170 degrees, that little bimetal disc will essentially go from sitting like this to snapping to raise up like that. To open the little switch to kill power to the gas valve right here and it'll just have the inducer and the blower running to try to cool it off the temp that high temperature limit switch there it could be a black plastic part that's more elongated reams are always up here other furnaces they can be down you know in this general area all that's going to happen is it opens up and it runs and runs and runs the blower and inducer until that switch closes. So that switch said L170-20F. It opens at 170 degrees. It'll close after it drops 20 degrees. So open at 170, close at 150. Alright, here's a demonstration for you what I was talking about. If you go to troubleshoot and disconnect it, ah, the furnace came on. That switch must be bad. No. The integrated furnace control circuit board down there, all it knows is it lost that 24 volt signal telling it everything is okay. I don't even have a call for heat, so it will just automatically do this. Now you know you have this high temperature limit switch that's bad is when you feel that the furnace is cold and you put your meter on those two probes there, the two wire connections, see the little gold or brass colored stuff there, that's where the wires go. If you ohm out that switch when the furnace is cold and it says OL, you know that switch is bad. If the furnace is cold and you have a zero ohm reading, that switch is good, something else is the problem. You could also look at two little rollout switches there. The rollout switches will cause the same problem to happen too. Where's the rollout switch? That's your rollout switch. The little button on top, these are manually reset. Those are automatic reset. The difference between them is they both operate based on temperature. This one's when the furnace gets too hot, because you'll find the other side by the heat exchanger is where that little sensor sits. It's just a little bimetal snap disc. Where this here, is a rollout seeing if the flames come rolling out at you or anything. If you reset these, you know, these you do not reset. So, hopefully this will give you some information that can be useful. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Take it easy.